Hi guys, welcome back. So welcome to another episode of Mel's Talking Hands. And this video, I'm gonna be showing you some beautiful jewelry items up close and personal. So for those of you that are new to my channel, hi, I'm Mel. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be a very interesting video because for those of you that do follow me on Instagram, if you don't, here is my Instagram name here. I asked you guys in my IG stories, what is your number one wish list jewelry pieces? And I said I would collate everything. So I thought it was best to film a video so I can actually show you all the items or pictures of the items. And today I'm gonna to be telling you, what are your top 10 most desired pieces? What is the most popular jewelry brand? Is it Cartier? Is it Van Cleef? Is it Tiffany & Co? So let's get started with number 10. Okay, so there was about just over 500 votes on my stories and coming in at number 10 was pretty close. I would say 10, nine and eight were relatively similar. So 10, there's actually a tie. So coming in at number 10 is the ever classic tennis bracelet. So I'll put a picture here so you know what I'm talking about for those of you that may not know what a tennis bracelet is. But basically it's just a single strand of symmetrical diamonds, so all the same size, and it makes into like this flexible circle. And you're probably wondering why is it called the tennis bracelet? So basically a famous tennis player, a US tennis player called Chris Everett, she lost her diamond bracelet during the 1987 US open. So millions of people around the world watched her look for her bracelet on TV and then the name was born. No particular brand was mentioned because I think a lot of uh, designers and jewelry makers make a tennis bracelet. I think it's a piece that will never go out of style and I can see why it made this list. Coming in at equal 10th and I personally was really wrapped to see this and actually you guys had voted. As I said, number 10 was there was a lot that were very close, but I was so happy to see that there were quite a few of you that voted for my earrings. And they are the Mel and Melbourne Anna Louisa earrings, and they are my two in one pearl hoop earrings. For those of you that may not know, I designed these pair of earrings for Anna Louisa. They are actually classified as semi-fine jewelry because the base of these earrings are actually sterling silver. Then it's coated in a thick, thick layer of gold. So the best thing about these earrings is that you can wear them two ways. You can wear them with the pearl like this, so it looks more dressy, or you can actually just remove the pearl and just wear them as plain gold hoops. And so I've worn mine so, so much, and I'm so glad that so many of you love it too. But yes, they are available from Anna Luisa. These are also our Swarovski glass pearls, so the same quality pearls that Chanel use, but they are only 159 USD. And no, they don't irritate your ears. I purposely made these ones not to irritate your ears or anything. So if you were interested in these, I do still have my code, which is available, which is just MIM10, and you can get 10% off that but thank you so much to everyone that voted for these i i was really pleasantly surprised and still wrapped that they came in equal 10th so coming in at number nine Firstly is the Hermes bracelets. Some of you just said Hermes gold bracelet and some of you didn't specify, but the two that was brought up was the classic Kelly bracelet, which I love. So this comes in the plain gold version or rose gold and also comes with diamonds. Or the other one that was brought up was the Hermes H Dunk bracelet. So those two were the ones that were mentioned. Hermes does some beautiful bracelets. I actually don't own any, but I do have friends that own them and they look beautiful stacked up. So that came in at number nine. The next one that came in at number nine was Tiffany & Co bracelets. And likewise, a lot of you didn't mention the exact names. Some of you did, but the most popular names that were mentioned for the Tiffany & Co bracelets was the Tiffany T range, which I I've tried on before, which I have considered buying. They've actually come out with a new range of the Tiffany T with all these diamonds. It's very beautiful. 
Or the other one that a few of you mentioned is also the Elsa Peretti line, which is just so classy and so classic. Coming in at number eight, was actually not fine jewelry. As you know, in the question, I left it quite broad because I wanted to know, was it fine jewelry that you were after or costume jewelry? And number eight were Dior earrings. Dior has been such a popular brand, so I wasn't surprised that the Dior earrings made on the list. I do own several, and the ones that you guys most wanted were the Tribals, so I've got a pair here. These are black ones, but the pearl ones are very, very popular. I'll put them here. And also the initial pearl earring. I obviously bought M for Mel, but a lot of people have bought, you know, their initials and wear, you know, one on one side and one on the other. So I just thought Dior was so clever to do that. Personalization has been so popular. I know the minute I saw this, I wanted it. I think they've got versions now where they've got all little diamantes in there as well. But yeah, I am definitely a fan of Dior costume jewelry. So that came in at number eight. So coming in at number seven, can you guess? It is the Van Cleef and Arpels Alumbra earrings. Now I own two pairs. I've brought one down. This is the magic size. So this is the biggest size, but it also comes in the vintage, which is the original size. And it also comes in the suite, which is the smallest size. So this is the biggest, but I love it. And this is in, of course, my, one of my favorite colors, the green malachite. And Alumbra, what can I say? When you think of Van Cleef and Arpels, you kind of think of Alumbra. Well, I do anyway. And I got this little booklet to show you with the Alumbra line. Besides the single motif, it actually comes in two motifs. So I do own the two motifs, not with diamonds, and it also comes in three motifs. So, and then it comes in a whole lot of other categories as well, which I will get to. So the Alumbra line was created by Van Cleef and Arpels in 1968. And the four leaf clover, as you can see here, establishes itself as a timeless symbol of luck for the Maison. So that's why it is all, all the precious stones. I mean, this is the malachite, but it comes in, you know, as you would know, the mother of pearl, onyx, tiger's eye, a whole heap of precious stones. And that is why it is a four leaf clover and then adorned with these little, little beads surrounding it as well. So the next piece that tied equal seventh with the Alumbra earrings is the Cartier Love Ring. Now I do not own a Cartier Love Ring, but I will put a picture up here for you. These are so popular and I completely understand why. So this also comes in versions where it is plain gold. Uh, it also comes in diamond versions, pave versions. It comes in the regular size and it also comes in a thinner size as well. So this love range is iconic really. Coming in at number six is from Chanel and they are Chanel earrings. Some of you specified again and some of you didn't, but the most popular ones were the Chanel CC dangle earrings, which I own. These are very, very popular and pretty hard to get. They do repeat them once in a while. If you don't own a pair of these, I do highly recommend them. And I actually even own the dangly pair here, as you can see, with all the diamantes as well. So let me just put them down here for you. So Chanel's costume jewelry line is very, very popular. I do own quite a lot of Chanel costume jewelry actually, but I have the last couple of years not bought as much because I do want to invest in more fine jewelry. So with Chanel costume jewelry, the two that were mentioned the most were the dangle earrings and also the classic CC stud earrings. So I've got, this is the one I've got here. Mine has got the baguette cut crystals, but the ones with all the little crystals are probably even more popular, but I just wanted to show you an example. 
So Chanel costume jewelry, it, I have to say it is getting very, very expensive, but whether it's the classic dangle or CC or their more elaborate styles, which I also personally love. So I can understand why they're ranked in at number six. So coming in at number five is something from Cartier. And it is none other than the Justin Clue bracelet. So the Justin Clue bracelet was actually designed by the same designer of the love bracelet. And Justin Clue actually means just a nail. So this bracelet was designed in 1971. The designer's name was Aldo, excuse my pronunciation, Aldo Cipolo. And as I said, it was inspired by the humble nail. But as you can see, he turned this piece into like a sexy, edgy piece. So it was said that the designer's second home was like a hardware store. That's why he liked all things sort of nuts and bolts and screws. And the Justin Clue is a very cool piece. I would say it's pretty iconic as well. And it's great that guys can wear them, girls can wear them, and it can be dressed up or down. Justin Clue also comes in a slimmer version, which I think I personally prefer. It also comes with pave and it comes in the regular size and, and it even comes in a variation where it wraps around your wrist a couple of times. So lots to choose from. Next up at number four, four and three were very close. They're from the same brand. I think you guys may guess. It is from Van Cleef and Arpels. You guys love this piece. You guys want this piece. And I'm talking about the Alumbra five motif bracelet. So I do own this. This one is in carnelian, which is this beautiful, gorgeous red. I mean, how nicely does that stack? But it does come in other colors. As I said, it comes in the Malachi. It comes in the Mother of Pearl. It comes in Blue Agate. Just a lot of beautiful, precious stones. And this one ranked really, really high. As I said, this is part of the whole Alumbra range. They do have the five motif. They also have the suite, which is basically this motif, but in a tiny little shape and it's just singular, but definitely the five motif I would say is the most popular. And coming in at a close third, a lot of you said the Van Cleef and Arpels Alumbra again uh, necklace that makes up of the 10 motif and then the 20 motif and also the single pendant. So the single pendant can come again in the magic size. It can come in the vintage size. And I believe it also comes in the sweet size and the necklace or even just the single motif Alumbra pendant made up about 10% of the vote. So that's pretty significant. Okay, so what do you think came in second place? Now, some of you may argue, hmm, is that a jewelry piece? And I would say it's kind of like a jewelry piece. And what am I talking about? I am talking about the Rolex watch. And I think it is kind of like a piece of jewelry. I mean, they do call some watches jewelry watches. And for guys, I guess it's like their piece of jewelry. So many of you uh, voted Rolex. I didn't expect it to be in second place, but I do know Rolex is so, so popular. So I do own one and my version is very sentimental. It is passed down from my late mother-in-law. So she took such good care of this. I don't even know the size of this face. It is very, very small, but it's very delicate and it actually does suit my wrists quite well. I didn't even have to adjust it and it sits sort of perfectly on my wrist, as you can see. And I love the diamond indices. It is just a very, very classy watch, very much like my late mother-in-law. So in terms of what you guys wanted and voted, the most popular was definitely the date just. I mean, this is a ladies date just, but a lot of you just said date just and also of course, the Submariner. So I'll put some pictures of the Submariner. So think the Pepsi, the Cola, the Hulk. And I would say the most popular, most wanted watch at the moment. I don't even know what the nickname is called, but it is like the updated version of the Kermit. So it's got the green uh, cerachrome bezel. I think that's what it's called. And it's got a black face. So... 
I know hubby would love that watch. If any of you know where I can get one of those watches, please let me know. I would love to get hubby one. But yeah, the markup on them is like crazy. They're kind of like Hermes bags at the moment, those Submariners. So yeah, I think a lot of you love Rolex watches. And in terms of percentage, 15% of you wanted a Rolex watch. Okay, so let me just set this watch down. So you've got some eye candy and drum roll coming in at number one, clear, clear number one, which again does not come at any surprise to me. I think all of you would know. So number one is none other than the famous, iconic, popular love bracelet. So this topped so many of your wish lists. Um, a lot of you were very specific. Oh, I want the four diamonds or I want the plane. It comes in gold. It comes in rose gold. It comes in white gold. And what can I say? I really have enjoyed mine. I did have a little issue with mine and I go through the whole story. Again, I'm not going to go into depth about the whole love bracelet, but uh, just a tidbit of information. This bracelet is actually purposely made oval so it sits as close to the wrist as possible. Can you tell? This also was created by Aldo Cipolo. He did really well. He designed two fabulous, you know, bracelets. And yes, what can I say about this? I still really enjoy mine. People love them. They buy multiples and stack them up. But again, they come in plain. They come in diamond. The version I have has the four diamonds. It comes in the pave, which is just complete diamonds, which does cost quite a penny, but it is absolutely beautiful. And a whopping 22% of you voted this as your number one wish list item. What did you think of the list? I have to say some were not any surprises to me. For example, like the Cartier Love Range or the Justin Clue bracelet and also the VCA Alumbra range. So I was surprised that Tiffany & Co did not rank higher. I know it is such a popular uh, designer brand. Personally, I actually hardly own any pieces from them, but I kind of thought it would rank higher. So what did you think, guys? Do you agree with the list? Please comment below. Uh, what is your number one designer wish list jewelry piece that you would absolutely love to add? For me, mm, I think I may want to add another Van Cleef and Arpels piece, but I definitely want to explore some of the lesser known brands that I don't think were mentioned at all in terms of your votes. And the ones, and I've said this before, the ones I'm considering is maybe Chaumet or maybe Piaget. So that is mine anyway. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for everyone that voted. I thought this was a fun video to do. I wanted to show you up close and personal what your most wanted pieces were and to answer your final question what is the number one most wanted most wish listed brand that would hands down have to be Cartier so thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up have a great day or night guys don't forget to subscribe as well I would love for you to join the fam and I will see you in my next video bye